In this video, we will try to understand how to find out or rather how to solve the differential equation using MATLAB. We have considered the example of one dimensional heat flow using Fourier's law. So in this particular example, we will form first the differential equation and then we will try to understand how to solve it using the MATLAB. So here we are having the, we have to plot the temperature distribution along the brick wall of certain length 5 meter and height is 4 meter and the thickness is 0.25 meter and the boundary conditions are the one face is maintained at 110 degree centigrade and another face is maintained at 40 degree centigrade. The thermal conductivity for the material is 0.7 watt per meter Kelvin. And also we have to find out what is the temperature at a distance of 10 centimeter from hot surface. So the cross sectional area is 20 meters square that is the length and the height the multiplication of these two terms then the width is 0.25 meter. At one phase, the temperature is 110. So at x is equal to 0, temperature is 110. And at x is equal to 0 0.25 meter, the value of temperature is 40 degrees centigrade. And we know that in case of the heat slab, the heat transfer rate, it is given by, according to the Fourier's law, it is temperature difference divided by the thermal resistance. And that value comes out to be 3920 watt. Now this value will be useful for us in solving the differential equation. So these are the boundary condition and this is the slope or gradient how the temperature changes along this particular thickness of the slab. So at x is equal to 0 temperature is 110 at x is equal to b that is 0.25 meter temperature is 40 degrees centigrade. These are the boundary conditions. Now according to the Fourier's law of heat conduction heat flux that is nothing but the heat transfer rate per unit area is directly proportional to the temperature gradient that is how temperature changes with respect to distance. So as it is a negative slope the temperature goes on decreasing in the direction of the heat flow this is the direction of the heat flow as you can see over here and the temperature decreases and this temperature distribution we have to plot by solving the differential equation. So you can take this k on this particular side and then the transfer this negative term on the other side so that you will get dt by dx plus q upon a k is equal to 0. Substituting the value q just now we have calculated in our first step area is also known to us and thermal conductivity of this brick material that is also known to us. So we will get dt by dx plus 280 is equal to 0. So let us see how to solve this simple differential equation and how to plot this particular temperature distribution using MATLAB code. So the code to solve this particular equation is shown over here. So T is equal to solve the differential equation. So D solve is the function which is used in MATLAB to solve the differential equation. Our equation is dt by dx. Take only con into consideration this dt part. So dt plus 280. We are differentiating with respect to x. So that parameter is mentioned over here. And here we are maintaining, here we are mentioning the boundary condition. So as you can see over here, this is the value of x. So at x is equal to 0, the temperature is 110. And another boundary condition at x is equal to 0.25, the temperature is 40. So this boundary conditions also we have mentioned over here. And then we can display this value of t or whatever the differential equation that we have solved using this boundary condition can be displayed by this particular function that is pretty t. Then easy plot you can draw this particular plot of t versus these are the limits for x. So x is 0 to 0 0.25 that is the thickness of that particular slab and then you can have this particular grid on so that you can have the proper visualization of the distribution that you have plotted. Now when you run this particular code, then you will get the distribution in this particular fashion. So as you can see over here, at x is equal to 0.1 meter, that is 10 centimeter, you are having the temperature of nearly around 82 degrees centigrade. At 0 0.15, you are having the temperature of nearly 68 like that. At 0 0.2, you are having the temperature of around 53 or 54 like that. 
So in this way, you can solve the differential equation using the MATLAB. In the command window, you will get the display or value of the function. Value of the function that is t. t is the variable and that is represented in terms of x. So value of t is represented over here. t is equal to 110 minus 280 x. So in this way, we can solve the differential equation using MATLAB.